Hey everyone, this is Dylan Nelson here with Bill Wise and Cell out of Evansville. Um, we're here today to talk about managing herbicide resistance, which is continuing to be a problem um, in the Wisconsin area with soybean and corn growers both. Um, so we're going to talk about some tips today to manage it. Uh, the first tip is just general weed identification. Um, knowing what you're going after is definitely key in what you're putting in that tank to, to go out and kill weeds. Um, the second would be how many modes of action you're mixing in that tank. So we'd really like to have at least two modes of action going after weeds, but three would even be even better. Uh, the third would be uh, spraying your, your herbicides at the labeled rates. So not cutting any rates um, or trying to get away with less modes of action at a lower rate. And now I'll pass it on to Bill and he'll cover a few more tips here for us. Another key factor to weed control is preventing weeds from beginning at all by using good pre-emerge chemistry and also wearing in the residual chemistry with your post application too to control those late emerging weeds that come in July and August, especially the water hemp that can come so late. And uh, the other key point is to make sure you are controlling those late escapes and keeping the seed bank down and just having less seed out there to be problems in the future. Thanks, Bill. If you guys have any other questions about this, feel free to reach out to your local Alcivia agronomist and talk more about it.